what would happen if you were to go into the water and you had to, to stay above water for a long period of time, but you had to conserve your energy. You would have to tread water. And it's, there's been a really bad thing that happened with a lot of people that didn't know how to do that. So I want to show you how to tread water. Control your breathing, that's the key to treading water. It's not using your arms and your legs super fast, it's by using your arms slowly. We call that sculling when you reach your arm out and you stretch and you, you go back and forth with your arms. That is going to help you just to stay balanced and with your legs you can use you can use your legs pushing out against the water but that's not really what's going to keep you safe and, and on top of the water and not going under and getting scared it's breathing in and out controlling your breathing in and out So almost like you're floating. You lean your head back. Maybe the focus on your breathing. You need to catch water. In and out. You hold your breath, you're gonna bob. Because you're gonna have to let your air out to take another breath in. You can't hold your breath. It's very important when you're treading water not to hold your breath. You breathe in and out. <laughs> breathe in and out. Arms out to the side, going, doing an egg beater type of kick is helpful, but you don't want to do any movements quickly and use a lot of energy. You need to slow down your breathing and your movements. Focus on your breathing. So I can tread water without using my arms or legs. Oh, don't do that, don't do that. Because the water gets tight about As you see, you don't need your arms and legs to be able to tread water. It just helps you to feel more balanced and you can get higher in the water by using your arms and legs. The more energy you use, the higher you can get in the water. It also is gonna make you tire a lot faster. You have to slow down, you cannot panic. Panic is what will cause you to suck in water and to have bad things happen when you're in the water in a, in a bad situation. Don't wanna flap, that's gonna put you up and down because you're pushing against the water, up and down, you don't want this. You don't want to kick like a flutter kick, you don't want to do little kicks below like you would on your belly, because that's going to use all your energy, you're going to get cramps. You have to stretch your legs out, you want to be as wide as you can on the surface of the water, and focus on your breathing. Breathe, catch a cloud, sing the fish. Catch a cloud, sing the fish. 